Good morning. We're continuing on this theme of the wisdom of God revealed to us by the Spirit and how that is very much counterintuitive and opposite of the way of this world. And I used a verb last Sunday that I'm borrowing from a mentor of mine, Gordon Fee, that the Spirit deconstructs our self-sufficiency and it challenges our pride. It challenges the self-reliance that's so common to human beings that we think, I can do it by myself. I don't need anybody to do anything for me. But God, in his wisdom on the cross, does something for us in Christ that we could not do for ourselves. We simply can't take care of our sin. We can't, we can't address the sin problem in any meaningful way. We can, we can feel bad all that we want. We can beat ourselves up, but we can't take care of the alienation and the, the slavery that sin so grips us with. But Jesus on the cross in God's cross-shaped wisdom dealt, dealt the death blow to sin in our lives and to self-sufficiency. So what that means is that, that you and I, we need to humble ourselves before God, that pride and self-sufficiency and self-reliance are these things that actually insulate us from the goodness of God. And so I was talking with a friend yesterday and, and that this whole idea that our pride kind of pushes God away and pushes God's resources and pushes what the work of God away from us. That's this sense of, I can do it all by myself and I don't need anybody else. It puts us in a place where we're isolated from the resources, from the goodness, from the mercy, from the grace, from the love of God. It, it, we self-insulate against that with our pride, with our self-sufficiency, with our unwillingness to admit, Lord, I can't do this by myself. I need you. And so I want to ask you today, would you spend some time just humbling yourself in, before God and saying, Lord, you have the freedom to deconstruct what is worldly within me, what is self-sufficient, what is self-reliant in me. I give you the keys. I give you the permission to, to help and to walk me into this gracious, goodness, cross-shaped wisdom from God. Holy Spirit, would you please reveal that to me today and this week? That's our thing to reflect on today. Thanks for joining me.